We're the closest we've been in 30 years to bring school choice to Oregon. For the past few years, Donna Kreitzberg has been busy trying to bring school choice to Oregon, which would give families the option to opt out of public schools and send kids to private or charter schools or to be homeschooled. Each student would receive thousands annually in state funds, which could be used to pay for tuition, buy school uniforms, or textbooks. People are very excited about this because it helps all Oregon kids. 29 states have school choice, and Kreitzberg says tens of thousands of Oregonians have signed two amendments pushing for the change. The whole point of this system is to give all these kids a good education. They can't all find it in the same spot. What do you say to people who say that this detracts from some of those public schools who are suffering the most and struggling the most right now and might need more funding? Well, what it does is it allows those schools to actually create innovation and ideas and help and focus on their community. Her idea, more innovation leads to better schools. Others say it'll have a different impact. It's going to be a direct draw from public education to pay for private school. Megan Mermis, a Portland public school parent, says the measures take away from schools in need while supporting the wealthiest. Um, it increases racial and economic disparities and it leaves kids behind that need the most help. Like kids with disabilities. It is unclear to me in this uh, uh, initiative how students with disabilities would be guaranteed their rights of service. Pat Burke, an education professor at PSU, says studies show charter schools work just as well as public schools, not better. And public schools must provide education for students with disabilities. Other schools just don't have the same requirements. So Burke says while quality of student education doesn't change, public school funding does. In my opinion, it would mean less money for local public schools. It's not just about the money. It's also what is the role of education for our communities. And there's another concern, too, over the regulation of money. Now, generally, of course, with state funding going to directly to schools, there's heavy regulation, though Burke says that's unclear how it, wor how it would work if it went directly to parents. Now, there's still a long way to go before these amendments would go before voters. Advocates for these amendments still need more than 100,000 signatures before the end of June to be able to put these measures on the November ballot. David? As you said, still a long way to go. Thank you, Thomas.